and good morning and welcome to another episode of a sunny episode of this old car I've got the Kawasaki in the back of the truck we've got this lovely car dolly here um, making a little trade for uh, another vehicle and it's over in Vancouver so that means I got aboard the ferry so uh, it's kind of the way things are going today um, the Kawasaki I've had up for sale for uh, I guess two weeks now and I've had uh, a number many phone calls and emails and all sorts of BS. A guy came and wrote it and wasted my time for about three evenings so I wasn't too impressed so I'm eager to get rid of it. It does run and ride really well but I already have a bike and I kind of bought this to make a make a dollar and do the trade so um, we're gonna see where today's adventures take us. Well I know where they're taking us, take us to Maple Ridge um, but uh, we'll see how the adventure goes so let's go for a ferry ride. Here we are leaving Nanaimo a bad little sight to see. Bye Nanaimo. It's a lovely day for sailing out here. The seas are now. The sea can be a cruel mistress. What a beautiful day. There's a little bit of wind out here. But it is a beautiful day on the old coastal renaissance. Out there is Vancouver. See it. And we're heading to North Bend, which is just over here. Nice day. We're back here at the truck now. Just gonna wait in the truck. It's a little chilly outside and listen to some tunes here. See I've texted the guy has Hour drive to get there, and probably going to be a bit of a job to get a, this little trailer down in his, uh, where he lives. So, uh, hopefully, that works out well. I don't know what to expect other than what I can see on Google Maps. So, we'll see. Well, I'm over here on the opposite side of the ferries now, and just got a little drip drink. And uh, let me show you the car. So, here it is in all its greatness the 03 Volkswagen Golf, which shall be known as Sven 2, or Young Sven. Um, yeah, drives great, runs great. We'll check that out more once we're uh, down the road here. So this thing leaves at 5. It's about 10 after 4 right now. But um, that's it. It was a pretty good transaction with the guys uh, that, uh, well, the guy that bought it, he also had a motorcycle buddy that uh, kind of checked it over quickly. And of course, they found that it's in good shape because it is. And oh, can we see it back there? There it is. Sven 2. So I hope Susie likes this car. We'll find out. It's got manual windows. I don't know. Other than that, the interior is in good shape. Uh, it's got an aftermarket stereo, all that jazz. It's got a Canadian air filter, cone style. So we can win some races now. When I was driving the car earlier, I noticed a little tiny clunk from the front end. And uh, with a quick feel around and a grab and a grope of the wheel, it's the uh, outer tie ride end, which I'm sure is about $12 at Largo. Probably like $7.99 on rockauto.com. So, not the end of the world to say the least. I'll probably do that tonight if I can get to Lord Co. I don't know if they're open till 9 on uh, Saturdays. I kind of want to do it tonight because I'm eager like that. I might even go to Canadian Tire, get a tie rod end if the price is right. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, I've got another little ways to wait for this old ferry here. And uh, away she goes. So, I'll show you more of the car once we got it unloaded at home. It might be dark by then. I don't know. The sun goes down after 7 these days. Daylight saving time messes me up. Anyway, um, that's all for now. Good golly, we made it. Yeah, so here she is. Or he is. I don't know. Whatever he or she is going to be. I don't think I even saw any parts fly off down the highway. Oh, he left his rear plate here. Oops. He wanted that back. I should probably mail that to him or something. Or is this an old one? Well, that's an expired one. There must have been another plate over this. I don't know why that's there. I don't know how that got there. You don't. You can't even tell it's a Volkswagen. Well, here we'll fix that. There we go. Done. Nailed it. Ah, the old Golf. Yeah, it was a good trip today. We uh, we made it. So I picked up the U-Haul trailer at around uh, 9 a.m. 
and it's now 7 p.m. here in lovely Nanaimo. You can tell. And the grass is green. And the girls are still pretty, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, I'm going to unload the car for now. i got to return the, the trailer on, on Monday because they're closed Sunday. Easter and Sunday and all. And they didn't charge me for two days. So if anybody needs something hauled, I could set you up. Anyway, uh, we're going to do a little uh, check over, an official check over, probably on the hoist at work on the golf. But uh, I took it for a rip earlier and went great. Like I said, there's that tie rod end issue, but uh, I guess we should take a look inside. Yeah, of course it. we would. Let's have a little look-see. So it's freshly been cleaned. It's got that cleaning smell to it. And this this outer cushion has been pushed down a little bit. Just, the foam is a little cattywampus under there, but uh, we could just uh, pop off the uh, material, put uh, a layer of something in there. So it's more built up like this side. Could still use a little more clean there. It's got this weird shift knob in it. I don't know what's going on or what's happened here. I guess that's supposed to look cool. We got what a... It's a JV... Oh, it's an Alpine radio. It's interior light work. Does this have an interior light? Let's see. There we go. We do. I think it was off. So we need to put it to door mode. Oh, apparently the door switch isn't working. Where is the door switch? Does it have a door switch? It must be built into the lack module. Yeah. So uh, that's the interior. Back seats. Oh, what is this? Altered speed. There she is. Back seat. Back seat Betty. And the hatch that you've been dying to see. Yeah, that's right. You load some serious groceries back there. It's a real grocery gutter. Was there a first aid kit back here? That'd be something. Maybe they left presents back here for us. Oh, they did. Napa bulbs. Santa. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, there's a power outlet here? No way. Okay, extra for that. So this is uh, this is the GL model, apparently. And I noticed the serial number starts with the number 9. I think that means this is made in Brazil. So South American. So foreign. So strange. And we'll have a quick look under the hood, because why wouldn't we, right? And uh, yeah, a little scuff here, you know. We'll polish that off. A little chip there. Susie needs to treat these with a little bit of uh, uh, toothpaste, and I think they'll come up fine. Somebody's plasti dip or painted this logo. That looks like paint, just the way it's in that crevice there. I'll probably just leave that. So I don't care. I'll try to open this with my hand. There we go. So there's a nice little Volkswagen cover that's missing. It doesn't really matter because it just covers stuff up. And now there's these little pegs, I guess. They probably took that off for weight reduction to really help out this cold air intake 40 horsepower i noticed there's a stereo wire here we should probably pop this up. Oh, we've got a fuse i bet you there's room skis for a little sub box in the back it's probably wired up he didn't tell me about that factory air box is gone it's got this dickered breather on here i guess that's okay wait that's for the secondary air pump okay that's fine so normally the secondary air pump would go through the main air filter. That's a, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, yeah, there's no leaks under here. Do I see braided lines? That must be factory. Weird. I've never, I guess that's how they roll. It's got, a, it's got an alternator. It's got some oil in it still. I checked that. And look at that. It's got a Mopar filter. And I'll tell you why. That's because the guy that owned this worked at a Dodge dealership. So I'm assuming that's going to work. Timing belt's been done. They say, and you know, I always like to check those things. So we're going to pop that off and just make sure it's as good as gold. Yeah. So anyway, that's the golf. You've seen it all. And uh... so thanks for coming on a little adventure with me today. I know I didn't get to show much out in Maple Ridge, but it was busy, busy. And I wanted to get out of it because I wanted to get home before it got dark outside. So if you've got any tips, hints, or suggestions on what to do with this golf, um, I don't know what we would do, but... Actually, I do have a question. It came with one of these keys. I want to know if I get the flip-out key with remote stuff working. Would be nice. And where should I get this key? Um, get a copy of it. Volkswagen, will they do that? Do they make those in-house? Probably not, because it's these crazy keys. Who knows? I'd have to find out. That's it. Just want to make a copy of the key, and I'll find out if it has 
Boop, boop. The old uh, keyless entry. Anyway, thanks for watching.